My fellow Americans, I've come before you today to discuss a very serious topic, the Second Amendment of the United States. Recently, a federal district court judge has decided that the Second Amendment no longer applies to certain guns or certain firearms are not covered under the Second Amendment. And you're like, what? You're telling me that a sitting federal judge has decided that certain firearms are not covered under the Second Amendment protection? Well, absolutely, that's what I'm telling you. Judge Kathy Bates, and you're like, Kathy Bates? Yeah, we'll just call her Kathy. Judge Kathy Bates at the District Court in Maryland came out with the decision last week as we record this that the AR-15 rifle and similar rifles such as the AK and so forth do not fall under Second Amendment protections because they are, quote, dangerous and unusual. Well, A, dangerous, yes, because firearms are supposed to be dangerous. Power drills are dangerous. Circular saws are dangerous. Blow torches are dangerous, but they're all tools that we need. Uh, crotch rocket motorcycles are dangerous, but people have a lot of fun with them, don't they? Yes, they are. Now, unusual, I don't know where we get unusual since the AR-15 and its many designs and different uh, configurations is the A number one most popular centerfire rifle in the United States of America, there is no doubt about that. But uh, according to Kathy Bates, she's decided that because the AR-15 is in the minority, that's right, she said in the minority, and that a f only a small number of people actually own them. Because of that, it is okay to ban or prohibit the ownership of those guns in the state of Maryland. And you say, I don't care, I don't live in the state of Maryland. Arr! Hold on, Sparky. When a sitting federal judge issues a ruling, what does that become? It becomes judicial precedent. That means in Colorado or New Jersey or New York or any other slave state, if you decide to file a uh, lawsuit against the state for prohibiting certain items, what that court can do, if it's a state Supreme Court, they can go to the federal court and say, look, Here's a judicial precedent that says those guns are dangerous and unusual and they are only owned by a minority of the people. Therefore, we can ban them. Yes, according to sitting judge Kathy Bates, if you are in the minority, if your opinions are in the minority, the Constitution does not apply to you and you don't have constitutional protection. Still think you live in a free nation? Hmm, I don't know, you might want to think again. This is your buddy, Professor Paul, and if you want to hear more stuff like this, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com. You're going to listen to Student of the Gun Radio each and every week. You're going to download the Student of the Gun mobile app. It's free. Why haven't you done it yet?